Here's the third installment of the free agency videos. It's time for the AFC North. Let's get right into it. All right, let's start off with the Baltimore Ravens. Offense, offense, offense. Let me explain more. They need a wide receiver. They need more than one wide receiver. They need a number one. They need number two. They need a lot of wide receivers. They also need to find a new tight end. They really did not have a complete starter at tight end. I mean, Benjamin Watson did pretty good, but he's a free agent. They have to find a starting tight end. And on the offensive line, their center, Ryan Jensen, is a free agent. Austin Howard did not particularly do a good job last year at right tackle. So they may need to find a new center, and they need to find a new right tackle. And they need to figure out what they're going to do at both guard positions, because both Alex Lewis and Marshall Yonda were out for the year last year, and Yonda's getting up there in age. Need to figure out what they're going to do there. And their top guy is Ryan Jensen. There were others, Watson and Mike Wallace, but Jensen's their center. And if you don't have a center, you don't have an offensive line. It's about as simple as that. Let's move on to Cincinnati. Cincinnati needs help on both sides of the line. They need offensive linemen. After they let Andrew Woodworth and Kevin Seidler go, that offensive line went downhill fast, and their rushing tank went downhill fast. The defensive side of the ball, they have Geno Atkins, but that's about it. They were one of the worst teams at stopping the run last year, and they need help in the secondary. All right, they need to get some more corners. And their top guy is Tyler Eifert. This is tough for them because, yes, he's a really good player, but he cannot stay on the field. He's missed a lot of games in his time as a Bengal, so they really have to think, do they want to re-sign him or do they want to move on? Next up is the Browns. Um... Uh... Okay, I'm ready to go. All right, we're back. The Browns, yes, they need a quarterback. But let's move away from that. We all know that. Plus, I don't know if they're going to address this in free agency or they're going to address this in the draft. They could try going after an agent McCarron or Kirk Cousins, and if they fail, they could go to the draft. But we just don't know. So I'm just going to leave that off the table right now and talk about some other needs. Free safety's one. They need to find a playmaker in the secondary. They need to find a left tackle. When they do find a quarterback, they need to protect him. And they need another corner because Jason McCourty, well, he did a good job. He's 31, and he can't do it by himself. And not just one. They need plenty of corners in that secondary. And their top guy is Isaiah Colwell. This is tough. He's a solid running back, but does Cleveland want to keep him, or do they want to find another running back? And let me stress this, Cleveland has over $100 million in cap space. They better find some good players or else I don't know what to think of them anymore. Finally, the Pittsburgh Steelers. You know, you hate to say this, but they're going to need to find a new inside linebacker. After what happened to Shazier, luckily he's recovering, but you don't know if he's ever going to be playing football again. So the Steelers, they've got to find a new inside linebacker to take that spot. And they need a playmaking safety. All right, they need a playmaker in that secondary. They just don't have one. And they need a nose tackle. There is a reason they gave up 4.4 yards per carry, even though they had Cameron Hayward and Stephon Tewitt. What's the reason? Because they did not have a really good nose tackle. You get a nose tackle, that average is going to go down. Their top guy, come on, it's Le'Veon Bell. And this is another tough one. Le'Veon Bell does not want the franchise tag, but do the Steelers really want to commit to him long term? One, he's a running back. You don't know how much longer he's going to have. Two, he has gotten into some problems since he's been in the league. You're a little skeptical of trusting him, but he's a great player. We'll find out what the Steelers are planning on doing. All right, guys, that was my video. I'll see you soon for the NFC North edition. See you next time.